Hello and welcome back. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure if I could still call this vanilla ish or if I should just go ahead and continue calling it vanilla ish. I wound up having to download a singular mod to get rid of the radios, which of course that disables my achievements just because I'm getting a mod to disable something I should have been able to disable in the base game. So since I did that, I decided to go ahead and grab a few other mods to throw on here, uh, in keeping with the vanilla theme, of course. Uh, I've got everybody's best friend Dogmeat, so I can have Dogmeat and Preston. Uh, I got the mod Conquest, which allows you to make camps, and I think it's ten additional settlements you can choose where to place them and set them up. Uh, which is going to be pretty awesome overall. Uh, I got Streamer's Best Friend, which is the mod I needed to disable radios in the wasteland, so I'm not randomly getting copyright struck because there's radios turned on. Uh, improved maps with visible roads. I actually do like this map. Not only does it have visible roads, but they're actually lined up more correctly. If I come stand on the road here, you'll notice it shows me on the road. Uh, whereas with the normal map, I would be off of the road by a little bit. So this map is just great to have if you're going to wind up adding a few mods on. Uh, let's see. Uh, faction bandanas, uh, keep radiance in the commonwealth, dog rugs, the unofficial Fallout 4 patch, and the True Storms mod, which, actually, I should configure that real quick. So we've got the weather control and True Storms configuration, and also a read me on conquest but let's see i i'm never going to be hitting the true storms weather control because i feel what weather is around may as well stick but let's see true storm effects on and let's see here i just got a text from the wife uh true storms on Constant rads and rad rain. I'll leave that on. Uh, ghoul horde chance. So I'm going to leave this off for now. Because again, my character is not very good at combat. But if people think they want me to turn that on, go ahead and leave me a comment. And I'll turn on the insanity mode for rad storms. I was hoping there would be a doctor over here. My rads are climbing I guess you've got like your reasons, crazy. But that just looks like junk to me. It is junk, and I can do a lot of things with junk. Come on, Preston. All right. So, real quick, let's go check over here at the drive-in and see if people showed up. There's a person. So let's go ahead and ring the bell. Set one to farming and one to scabbing. If the two of them are here. Keep fighting the good fight, okay? You scavenge. Now who was saying something about keep fighting the good fight? She's over behind me here. I don't see her. And you're already set to farming, but let's actually set you directly to farming okay. the mute fruits. That's going to fill people up better. Alright, so there's all we need to do here. Just set those couple people up. Drink a little bit more water.
And let's see, we got this junkyard I was talking about with some mole rats to go deal with. And I've got the backup of two companions. One useful and one that has proven himself to be rather useless so far. Hopefully Preston shapes up. Because otherwise I'll just get the mod for dog meat's backpack and I'll just keep dog meat with me and screw everybody else. <laughs> Right, since I've already started throwing mods on. Let's see. So, junkyard's right over here. Go save the settler. I had no choice. Well, she's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so rabid mole rat. Oh, regular ones. It doesn't help when I'm missing. I guess it's because I'm level 11, they're all rabbit mole rats. I'm using a good Okay, sorry, level 12. Still got more around. Uh, she's ill. Hold up. between me and my party. That's how you do it. There's still more here. Use that crit. Okay. Alright. Hi. Be it. Thanks for the help. There we go. Okay. Now let's loot up all these corpses. So yeah, the light much better on my end. I mean, just squint a little bit because it's actually really bright. But something tells me on the YouTube's end of things, it'll just be slightly bright. But hey, at least maybe you can see. And in here, a little bit of stuff. Never really that much, but every little bit counts. Okay, back on the road. Let's grab that level real quick. Went up to level 12. So let's see. Uh, I'll grab science. That's going to help us on our settlements as well as crafting things. Alright, so we've got some radiation barrels up here that I might be able to avoid by swinging off of the beaten path a little bit for hub flowers. Don't know what's up there. I've actually never gone over there. Maybe I will one of these days. Yeah, radiation barrels down there. My rads are already high enough. Just walk around those. I don't have a way to a doctor just yet. Nor do I have Dirty Wastelander. Oh, well now I can remember the name of the friggin' thing. The Dirty Wastelander. It's a uh, cocktail you can make that handles your radiation. That's the Settlement of Covenant. A uh, weird place. Might wind up doing that quest in this playthrough. Might not. Sometimes I just avoid it. 
eat some food. All right. And this is all part of that settlement there. We should get going. Fortunately, you can't mess yourself up by looting all this because the thing lootable for that is not lootable. Let's see. So I did state that I would have to pass by a hospital with super mutants. There's four super mutants out here. Let's see if I can take them all out in one go, because one of them is a suicider. I think we got something over here. Okay, that did not work. Did not work at all. And here's the suicider. Okay, got him. So now I gotta heal both of my companions. I think I got something over here. Okay. Nine. Oh, I don't have that set right now. Well, that's not good. Minus equals. Okay, that was a little harsh. Well, I don't want the bladed board. I do want the nuclear material and the food. Okay, oh, my 10 millimeter ammo is spent. And there's still two cents up here. But I will have to walk fast. Okay, that truck's going to explode. Good thing I got away from it. So let's see. Where do I have my psycho jet loaded? Yeah, it's on nine. That's that's what I hit. Okay, I'll we'll try that again. Yeah. Just one for good measure there. Preston, you are so slow. If I actually needed your help there, I would have died. Rail sign for danger. Okay, so... On up to Green Top Nursery, or just stop there. I like to check the Pulaski uh, not shelters. Because they often have some good stuff in them. Now uh, there is a uh, hey. random okay. encounter location over here sure. in just supply. a moment that I'll point out. But first. Gotta release some junk. <laughs> Guessing my wife is back home from work because the dogs are starting to go crazy. Grab some buff out and then right down this way is where the random location is somewhere over in here. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get a death claw. It doesn't look like I got anything this time, and I like it that way. Because that means I can actually make it to Green Top Nursery over here. Lag spike kept me from getting my hub flower. 
uh, potentially sting wings around here. They're up the road a little bit further than every now and then can be drugged down to this end by random stuff. So, careful. Sting wings are probably the absolute worst flying enemy in this. The closest thing Fallout 4 has to a Cazador. Alright, here we go. Green Top Nursery. I'm gonna talk to her, figure out where the problem is. Oh, with the Minutemen. Oh, him. Right? The Minutemen are always happy to help. What did you need? A pack of feral ghouls has holed up nearby. And some of them have started wandering out lately. If more of them start wandering out this way, we may be overrun. We need someone to clear them out. I'm on it. It's as good as done. I'll be glad to have them gone. Alright, so the National Guard Trading Yard. Is there a bed in here that I can nap in? No? Well, okay, this is why I decided to put in the Conquest mod. I just need some cloth, and I can throw down a camp. It is a sleeping bag and I can throw down a nap and not have to worry about going through all of this walk again. Wild mongrel. Give me your meat. So yeah, I, I figured it was going to be the National Guard training yard. Granted, it took me a while to find the name of the place in my head. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Well, here we go. You've got this. Come on. was not expecting a death claw on this walk. Okay, Preston, I gave you a bunch of junk. Did Point I give out. you You want to swap supplies? No problem. Cloth, cloth, cloth. That's not sure enough that's cloth. worth taking with us? Need more cloth. Okay, there's going to be some dogs and a raider who attack me after I go into this bus. And I am out of Psycho Jet. I'm gonna grab all the bones. Cabo bandana. All right, and there's some more hub flowers around this little roundabout area, so I'll just walk around here and get those. Can turn my light back on. I'm not trying to hide anymore. Okay. So down this road it takes you back to the hospital and the area where I came from. Down this road takes us on 
to County Crossing and the National Guard Training Yard. There will be a bloat fly down here as well on the right hand side of the road. Uh, by this level, it should be the black blow fl uh, bloat fly. I can see him there. And black bloat fly. Maybe I have put too much time in this game. Okay, when getting Wait. closer to the bloat fly, weave back and forth all the way in, zigzag. And then you don't have to worry about those maggots. Turn off the light because I don't want to drag any of the ghouls from over there to me. Let's see. Huh, what's in the fridge over here? I'll tell you what's wrong with the Commonwealth. People can't see the big picture. Does that include you, Preston? Okay, so now I just got a bunch of turrets to take out over there. This is County Crossing. Oh, can I use a bed here? Because I still don't have the cloth I need to make one. Nope. Okay, so let's just run off over here. Careful, there's uh, blood bugs in that mess. So let's see here if I go to miscellaneous and check out this readme. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything in there on how to use it. Uh, I can't remember how to open up my... ...camping thing, because it's not holding V because there's no workshop to open it into. Okay, so I guess I'll have to look that up. And I'm going in without any kind of saves. This isn't going to be that terrible, right? I'm going to die. Absolutely going to die half a dozen times. There's lots of landmines around the place outside here. Not to mention the turrets. Oh, good, some 10 milli ammo. Landmine there. There. We got another turret. Hold on. Right up there, which is now gone. And there's another turret. Right there. Wait, something's out there. And ghouls. They're coming in. Put the fence between me and them. Slows them down a bit on their attack. Oh, crap. Anything useful? Glad I looked back just in time. Okay, so. In we get. I'm gonna die. Now, I don't want to do any of the extra stuff here. I don't care about grabbing the power armor that's over here, any of that stuff, because that's all gonna be too dangerous for me. I just want to get in here, get the job done, and get out.
There's something wrong here. You. No. Okay. Two ghouls. Three, four ghouls. And I've got three shots. Ouch. Okay, so I need some kind of a rifle or something coming in here. Whoa, what? Um, I think this is having a conniption fit. Maybe because of the mods I put onto it. I don't know. But all right, I will bring everything back once I am all the way back over there again. Yeah. All right, you know what? Uh, how long have I been recording today? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this as the video for now. And next episode, I'll bring it back right over there at the National Guard training yard. Wanting to not make all of the videos uber long. So, until next time, if you like uh, what you saw here, give me a like button. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button down below. One of these days, I'll get good at these sign offs. And bye.